see what we have here for you. We're going to look into your situation, but we're also going to look into secret energies around you that you might want to be aware about. And we will see if these energies connect to this reading or if it's something on the side that you should know about. First of all, speaking of secret energies, I see someone here with the Seven of Swords as the main energy for the reading who is clearly trying to get away with something. And you know, when you see this card that this person might be pretending to be someone that they're not, be pretending to mean something, when it, whereas instead they might mean something else. They clearly have a secret agenda, which at first, at least, you're not going to know. You're not going to notice. But usually this card does talk about secrets coming up and so chances are that you are about to find out uh, what this person is doing. This person is clearly trying to move silently and quickly too but I do believe that your intuition right now is really good and you're going to understand what they are up to. Now starting to look at these three cards, Page of Swords reversed of course, King of Cups and the Six of Wands. I do see someone here who is trying to get your attention and who is really going out of their way to learn something about you. So usually with a Page of Swords upright, you have someone who potentially is spying on you. This is the knowledge seeker, someone who wants to learn things about you and who wants to do it in a non-conventional way. Perhaps they are trying to look over, uh, look at your social media account, asking around people that know you as well. There is some sort of energy and message here that really does talk about this person acting and moving in the dark to learn things about you. Now, when this card is reversed, we see manipulation. We see someone deceptive. And overall, we see someone, as we were saying earlier, who really goes out of their way to do this. With this card reversed and the King of Cups right there, I almost see like if this is happening online, they might be creating a fake account here in order to appear someone that they're not. In order to appear as this King of Cups which clearly has a different vibe, a different identity overall. So right now what I'm seeing is definitely that this person will try to communicate with you by faking their identity, just so that they can find more information about you. This King of Cups will be someone very charming, someone very emotionally balanced, Someone who feels wise and definitely a person who you will feel comfortable talking to regardless of the fact that you are just getting to um, know them right now, starting to talk to them right now. You already feel like they are familiar and you're right about that because behind this King of Cups, there is someone who you do already know. And so there goes your intuition saying, there is something else behind this person, behind this energy that you might not know about. And the reason why it feels so familiar and effortless, it's because they know what they have to say. They know how they have to say it. They know what type of questions to ask. And they are going, as far as they think, straight to the point in what they want to learn about you. Are you in love with someone? This is one of the questions that maybe they will ask you. Are you wanting to see someone new? Are you having fun with people? Are you sleeping around? This person, even so subtly, they will try to learn about all of these things. I do believe that their spotlight or spotlights are on you, their attention. But this is a two-way energy as well. I see them focusing on you, as you might uh, see in these cards, but also see them 
needing for you to focus on them, on the real them, on the Page of Swords, not on the King of Cups. And so they might be using this as a way to talk to you, saying that maybe you have blocked them or you're not communicating to them. This is their way to hear from you, to see your messages and see your name coming up on their phone once again. And it's really, I mean, it's definitely not fair for you to be tricked into this. But for them, it's the only way to keep that emotional balance that the King of Cups has. They are wanting, they're pretending to be the person that they're wanting to be as well. That King of Cups. How do you feel towards this person? Let's look into that. Towards the real person. Six of Swords and the Hermit. You have gone through a painful cycle with them. There is something here with the Six of Swords that you are trying to move away from. And not just physically, but also mentally with the Hermit. Overall, with these two cards, the main message that I'm getting is detachment. Uh, you trying to put some physical distance in between you and this person, but also some mental distance, because maybe you didn't have the best experience with them, did you? There is something that they might have done, might have said, that was really not what you were expecting at all. And so you have started doing this because you needed to protect yourself. You needed to not be exposed to this negative energy, negative situation, which was not making you happy at all. And so, although with the Six of Swords you see a painful transition, you see the only option that you have there, which was to go away and to start anew, escaping the past to create something better for you in the present and in the future. And so, with the Hermit, <clears throat> you're trying to do the opposite of what they are trying to do now. Just tuning them out, forgetting about everything that has happened so that you can focus on yourself and on your path. And overall, not being involved with their drama anymore. But <clears throat> no matter how much time has passed, this person will reach out and will do this. It's clear that for them, this is not over. And they think that there is still a way to maybe come back into your life. Let's look into the hidden energies around you. Although, I mean, I'm doing it because I promised I would. But at the same time, this is already secret energy. Let's see if we can find any more details before continuing with the reading. Stork and snake yeah ah, honestly i see it connected to that you feel like there is a potential new beginning stork creation creating something beautiful very emotional but behind that we have the snake instead which is not great news it's just someone who definitely is uh, attached to you and connected to you they depend on you actually uh, but at the same time, someone who's now thinking about their interests only. Maybe who has done the same also in the past. So I have a hard time uh, not going back to this as far as secret energies because it's clearly connected to them. So let's see what this person's intentions are right now. What are they planning to do in the near future with this creating fake accounts and talking to you without you even knowing it? They have a specific idea, Ace of Wands, a spark, a new idea, new creation, and they are fueled by this energy. It's something that it's pushing them, doing things that maybe they would have not done a week ago, a month ago, and now they have this plan. 
They have the idea. Then the next card is the Two of Wands, making plans, and the Three of Wands, manifesting those plans. And so we'll see how this is about to evolve. But with the Empress here, their main goal, their main objective right now is to come close to you, to be close to you, to their Empress. So this beautiful human being who is perfect in their eyes. You know that right now what they're trying to do is just go back to an opportunity that they have lost, a situation that they have messed up, and they want to create an environment, a situation where you will feel that this is good, actually. Because now, thinking about it, you don't think this is good. You want to be away from it. But the way they're acting now, what they're planning to do with the Ace of Wands, aims to change the situation in a way that you are the one who maybe will push for this, who is going to say yes to a potential reconciliation. What is this person planning to do there with the Ace of Wands? Let's look into what their intentions are, how you will feel whenever they will do whatever they want to do here. And if actually they will be successful, if what the outcome is going to be, if it's going to change because of what they're going to do now, or if the two of you will keep being apart and this will be just a failed attempt. Let's look into how this connection is going to evolve from this moment forward. I'll be continuing the reading in the extended video link below in the description box. Follow me there if you want to dive deeper into the messages. Also, don't forget that every week I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video. So offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning. So please check your spam folder as well. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading Libra. I have never done a reading like this, honestly, where someone is seriously trying to be deceptive so that they talk to you in order to get information, trick you into that conversation, whereas instead you feel that connection is completely over. This person maybe never moved on from you, you know, regardless how much time has passed, Regardless, all of the things that they have told you, I'm sure this person at some point said, we are not meant to be together. This is exactly what I wanted for us to break apart. But that was all, they were, those were all lies. And they were just actually protecting themselves because they knew how lost they would have felt without you. And so right now you see this person clearly trying desperately to make a connection with you again. They know that if they were to reveal their real identity, you would push them away. And so they come up with this strategy. Who knows for how, how long they will keep that going. We see that that is not a, a standalone effort, attempt. There is something here that they're actually planning to do. They have an idea something that in their opinion is going to eventually potentially um, make you realize that you have to be back together, that this is not over. So I am curious, I hope you are too. Let's look into that Ace of Wands and see what this person's idea is right now. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me at all. And the Queen of Wands. Yeah, when you will hear about this, it's definitely going to 